I had it. Mm-hmm. Accents. Conde Petit? Yep. French. Sure. Oh, wait, let me... There we go. A delicious shape. Destroyed Zidane. Just right. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> He's like, I don't know how to feel about that. Dwarves. Remember four? Yeah, we do too. Remember one? Yeah, yeah. Two. Dwarf show up a lot. Well, I was more like, mostly going with the rally ho thing, being like the lolly ho. Mm -hmm. I mean, lolly ho was just a bad translation of rally ho. It's the whole RL thing. Yeah. Or a sacred grind. Sacred what now? You die and say hi ho, and you can't come to petite. I'm down of the doors. <laughs> My god. <laughs> we here at Newbie Streams don't really condone any kind of making fun of people's accents and any kind of opinions expressed by the people on this, these stupid, stupid people on this. Do not reflect upon our overall opinions on accents and such. Thank you and have a good day. I have no idea what that accent was. I mean, like, so it's just, what was that accent? I'm like, I don't know. That's just what it feels like that would sound like. I don't know if that was the best accent I've ever heard. If you're having a stroke or the worst accent I've ever heard. A rune. You're always loitering a rune. A rune. Yeah, he isn't supposed to be like an Irish. Away with ye. Yeah, these. No, no, no. This is Scottish. This is very Scottish. Yeah, Scottish. That's what I meant. I meant Scottish. I am very bad about confusing those two all the time. Which is, like, the thing that you don't do. Don't confuse those two. Don't do that. So the only reason I recognize that it was, uh, very Scottish is, <laughs> this sounds so dumb, is I recently played uh, Dragon Quest IV, and the first character comes from a Scottish place. Yeah. Like, yes, I, uh, yeah, I distinctly know that mixing Irish and Scottish is a very bad thing to do. My brain is just bad and doesn't work right and i frequently forget these things newbie is still recovering from that amazing accent he just gave yeah They're not afraid of him. Weird. To the others. The others. Toon. Also, that person's last name is literally Greeter. 
it's their job. It's time for another fun adventure of, hey, Queena doesn't know what money is. Really? <laughs> yep, I was waiting for this one. Thieves are bad. Robert Dog Herder. Also, look at that doggo. That is an amazing dog. That dog is very good. No, oh, no, the dog doesn't like me. It continues. The story goes on. These dwarves look like goblins. Yeah, I was thinking that do. too. Also, yes. The 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 thing that I initially was mixed up with too, the the way they say like don't or like one of their weird accents sounds like dinner. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I keep getting confused by Ken as, like, no, which is weird. Oh. Hello. What? Did you see something weird? I always see weird things. I think it's like... Don't gonna combine into one word for dinner. You didn't expect. You, you, you see what I mean there? You didn't. Oh, didn't. Okay, it's didn't. Yeah. Just like Kana is. Whoops! Can't. I went through that menu too fast. <laughs> nope, we're just taking a nap here. Jenkins empty bottle. That's his profession. Barbara Gibgab. These names are great. Ah, this is just the tea maker. Hmm, throw a coin in this thing, huh? Oh. That is a subtle hint to the Trino Fountain. We haven't gotten any of those in a long time. Yeah, so I know. The way they're set up totally reminds me of the fountains in like every town in Final Fantasy 3 where they have like a, a healing one. And yeah, they're kind of poking one. fun at that. Yeah. Up seems like the correct way to go, so let's go the wrong way. Katana yeah. and William.
I'm not marrying anyone. She walks away. This is stupid. Ashy Bold Owl sounds like it might not be that bad. Ashy sounds like it'd be a really interesting, uh... Boiled is all is kind of... It kills most of the flavor of things unless you do it right. Yeah, well, that's what I'm saying. Like, it would have to be prepared correctly. But it sounds like it could be good. But how would you kill such a majestic and intelligent creature? Spoilers, owls are actually dumb as shit. So here's the question. If you're asking yourself, I wonder what this accent was in Japan. It's Osaka. Whenever there is an accent, just weird for no reason, and then translate over, it was Osaka accent. Because that's the only like really distinct accent in Japan. Mm -hmm. It's the one that is generally people when when it's localized. It's the, the do them as Southerners. Southern or Jersey. Yeah, because I think Joey is supposed to be yep. from Osaka. Yep. Can't believe you're an anime. Uh, Jersey anime. is usually not necessarily Osaka, but just someone who's trying to put in like a tough affectation. They'll make them sound Jersey instead. Mm. Because all people from Jersey are tough. Mogmat. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah, Ma Mogmad. Give my letter to Suzuna. What? Mogmad. <laughs> I'm still stuck on Mogmad. Mogmad is so good. Oh, there is an exclamation point in that corner. Oh, I'll have to go back and check. Poison Knuckles. Poison Knuckles? Well, we don't have anybody who uses those. You don't need those. Magic armlet, though, I should grab should one. totally grab a couple of those. Uh, really? They seem yeah. worse for defense, but I guess they're better for magic. They're better for other things. I'm gonna grab four. No particular reason. Sure, why not? Another you know, tiara. Let's grab two of those. Ritual hats, though. Let's grab three of those. I would, I would not be grabbing so much, but hey, you got money for days, so who cares? You see, I get it when I steal. Magician's yep. Cloak. I least... grab one. Yeah, at least one for the abilities. Yep. I think it teaches abilities you already have, but it's a good idea to grab it anyway, just to be on the safe side. Now, let's look at what we got here. Ritual hat. That's, that's, that's your offensive boy hat. Yep, that's your... Hey, you need some armor? And that's all I can do for now with the character I have. Yeah, he's already pretty much outfitted with the best stuff he can equip. I did not see the exclamation point on the way. Oh, there it is. Oh, it was the, the grocer. Oh, okay. No, no, no. Not that one. Bottom uh, corner, uh, like halfway up the stairs. Oh, I was going to go back that way anyway. Oh, okay. It was a Phoenix Pinion. Always useful. Yeah, I should start using those because those are only usable outside of combat. Nah, don't worry about it. You have life spells. Owls. Well, I'm just saying, like, the number of times I use a phoenix down to revive That's somebody fair. outside of combat. Father David. Surely it'd be David Father. Oh, his first name is Father. Oh. So his profession is David? Yes. Finger waver. It's time. Oh, no. Oh, God, it's happening. <laughs> oh, God. <sighs> All right, folks, strap in. 
Have to remind you every now and then the this Tetra Master is terrible. garbage. There's my deck. Okay, here we go. Ah. I believe in you. You got this. Do you? It's a pretty good card there. Oh, well, the strength on this boy is pretty good. I mean, I just want to use one of my up boys. Well, I mean, if you use an up boy against that, you'll just go right through it. Because yeah, it doesn't saying. have an arrow thing. I'd go with the Yeti. Fight me. Oh god, no. strategy to put the weaker card there so that you could defeat your own card. I'm 50-50. Holy crap, you won. Yeah. Hmm, 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 hmm. The Scorpion is a pretty good card. You should take the Scorpion card. You did it. I'm proud of you. <laughs> A stoomed in. Okay, hold up. The tale of Brian. <laughs> Sis, I'm hungered. Yep. That is no accent. <laughs> <laughs> Continue. Hungert. What's a boat? Try explaining, like, how would you explain to somebody what a boat is? It's wood that you ride. So, Conde another black mage. Petit doesn't. Also, am I saying that right? Is that the actual name of this place? I feel like I'm wrong. Don't don't worry about it. Um, Dwarfland. Dwarfland doesn't play any role in the actual story other than you find a black mage here. 
It is a gate in many different ways. <laughs> Did you say pointy hat? Nah, I said pointy hat. Pretty sure it's pinty. Pinty hat. Hit. Now, it's not the southeast forest, it's the southeast forest. No, it makes sense. That one, that one makes sense. There was actually one other path that we didn't go down. And also, I, because I didn't go this way, I may have missed an, an event. Nope, you got them all. Oh, okay, that just dumps me out in the same place. Okay, never mind. Yes. This place isn't very big. No. Well, it's pretty much just this little squat fort on top of two giant tree roots that are going across the um, canyon. Although it's weird that they'd be able to build something on top of giant tree roots like that. Hmm. Surely that won't come up. No. Nah. I've heard of weirder things happening in Dwarf Fortress, so... Fair. Uh, this is also why I said, hey, you should go get your bird so that you don't have to walk this whole way. You never hear about that one dwarf place that had a, uh, a vampire for a mare? That's weird. Yeah, if you ever get a chance, talk to Loon about Mare Vampire. Oh boy. Mare Vampire, who is increasingly more and more putting the blame for his vampire murders on other people. In increasingly sillier ways. This kid? This kid killed a man. In hindsight, I picked up new gear. Oh yeah, look at that. It's your mage armlet. Okay, yeah, the magician cloak is not very good. No, but it can teach a couple skills if you did not pick them up earlier. Mostly the being insomniac. I don't think we had access to yet. Yeah. That's for um, Queena, and I think I think Queen is the only one who can learn MP 10%. Maybe somebody else can. Oh, right. We're keeping the Magus hat on you because of the size. Yes. Yeah, Vivi's equipment is basically always which elemental boost does it have on it. So he won't be wearing the quote-unquote optimal gear, but he'll be wearing nice enough stuff. Now we're good. Alright. Forest. Indeed. Now, we saw the boy go right. Yeah. But if I'm following the rules of the riddle, left would be the way to go. Is it? Okay, I guess not. That's weird. You went down the right path as in the right-hand path, and an owl flew away. I mean... 
I'll figure this out, but yeah, like... The game is being a bit misleading, maybe not misleading as a way. It's a nice little gimmick, and I, I like it because it doesn't overstay its welcome. I'm having a little difficulty parsing it 100%, that's about it. Queena, I saw that 32 damage. Everyone did. <laughs> Queena, please. What are you doing? I'm thinking. Oh, okay. I thought you were just staring at the owls blinking. This is very confusing. Do you want to know the secret? No. Like, okay. I, I think I'm just going to brute force it. And then I'll ask. Okay. Yeah. People uh, now complain about uh, the dwarf land being filler. It is filler. It, it doesn't have too much to it, unfortunately. Yeah, that's exactly what filler is. It doesn't yeah. add anything to the story. It's there so to have like a point where you go to and you find out a couple pieces of information, but other than that, meh. That is a durable bird. It looks like an evolved Rowlet. Yeah, 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 it does. That's what that's what Rowlet's evolved form oh, should yeah. look like. Yep. Rowlet, my favorite of all of the starters in the first form. Uh, how have Newbie Steel's been? Uh, he did pretty well against Lonnie. Got most of the stuff from her pretty quickly. I, yeah, I 100% did not understand the thing there because it's like the Every owls... time you go the right way, an owl disappears. Okay, but there's no way to actually tell which way is the right way. Nope. Okay. See, that's there's the no thing. there's no real secret to it. It's just I, you can you just brute force it. Yeah, I felt like there was a puzzle there to solve, but in actuality. There nope. wasn't a puzzle to solve. It was brute force. Yes. Okay. Spell the glamour. That's why I was confused. The pathway is right, right, left, right. Village of wizards. This place has awesome music, and it's a wonderful place to be. The other black mage is ate shit, so maybe just eating shit is a racial trait. Yes, they are very clumsy. Minus two decks. Uh huh. So I think this is like the happiest VV has ever been in like many an hour. Oh yeah. Hmm. All right, I'm with Zidane on this one. Stick together. Some very powerful choices. Yes, every house is a black mage. 
Number 239. Freaked out, but he'll still sell you stuff. By the way, this is one of the few places you can buy a mage staff. Is that important? No, it's just VB's starting staff. It's a nice little touch. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. I see what you mean. Don't mind me. I'm just gonna... Oh. That, that was talking to you. I, I was gonna make a joke about looting his place. I'm an adventurer, no sense of right or wrong. Just gonna steal from this guy who has done you no harm. Also, owls! Okay. You having fun over there? I don't know why it let me do that. Oh, so yeah, this music's very good. This? Okay, the there are choices here and what events to see. Because this is a different set of events. So, uh, Queen's first event pops up in this spot right here. So you've technically missed it. I would go with Life Cycle. Well, do I? Eh, it's okay. Yep, that's the one thing I don't like about the yeah. event system. Is that no, you can miss that. That's totally fair. Oh, the, they're all, the gravestones are just sta staves. Yeah. Yeah, this is something I remembered, is... The, uh... The Black Mages just sort of... Stop. Yep. It's... <sighs> Cheery music for a very dark zone. Yeah, I, I seem to remember something of like, if you want to see all the scenes here, you have to move between screens very carefully. Yes. Yeah, I hate that. I think the correct order is um, Queena, Queena, VV, and then I forget after the top. But yeah, it's it's difficult to see all the scenes. What do you think Queenus is? Oh, you got it right. It's about food. Hi, I'm King Black Mage. Yep. Along with a kitty. Oh, man. You're right. Look at that cat.
Queen finds an egg. Oh, even the black mages play cards. Cards are universal. Everybody knows it sucks. <laughs> but it's the only entertainment we have. I mean, I'd rather roll a wheel down the street with a stick than play cards, but, you know, teach their own. Uh-oh. I did it again. I did the move. It's a very high-end move. Hello, Virgo. Yep. I was about to mention, uh, congratulations. You're going to find a couple more Slazios. Wow, thanks, Fratley. Yeah, Fratley actually has several lines, I think, mostly on the maps. Oh, wait, hold up. Hold the phone. My dude. You sell remedies, which I already have plenty of for now. Yep. I think you can go up that ladder behind the black mage, though. I do not believe so. Ah, uh, that must be a different ladder then. Never mind. Yeah, I think I missed like four or three events. A handful, yeah, but not too many. I think the most what you missed were just uh, Queena events. You saw the one with uh, Garnet and the ones with uh, Vivi. Oh, yeah. You found a super secret chest. It was money. That money can help you in that shop that you walked through. More money. Wait, why would it help me in that shop I walked through? The one you're in right now. Oh my god, is that a synthesis shop? Yes. Hello, sir. <laughs> Immediately walked back in. Hello, you, important. Rune tooth. Remember when I told you to buy those mithril daggers? This is why. Uh, I'm thinking no. Oh, well, okay, we have a power bell. Ma. 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 Dian's ring. I don't think you need that. Keep going, though. Or is that the last bit? Oh, make, it, make that ring. Extension. Extend. Get extension. Whatever you have to buy to get extension, do it. Alright. Gonna... Buy another racket? Yeah, I'm gonna buy I'm gonna make all of these. I don't know if you can buy another racket actually. Uh, also, you have... don't even need to make the reflect ring unless you need multiple of them. Uh, people have auto reflect. Because you did buy the one before. Yeah, I mean the big the big reason as Chad points out to make the Madian's ring is it's ice absorbed. Yeah. Yep. You're right. I'm gonna have I to switch her back to a Stardust Rod, though. Yep. I have to buy another spare, okay. but that's that's totally fine. I uh, can't do it right now. Yeah, but you can do it in a little bit. But having a spare Stardust Rod is important. Big tooth, also known as the Viper.
So at this point in the game, Kazadan knows seven, or, seven of his eight skills. Guardian Mog, huh? Mog? Man, who is that? Guardian Mog. What's up with Vivi? Who scared Vivi? Final Fantasy IX, Whiplash the game. Oh yeah. Back into the shop. Like, in the past... Since this stream started, a lot of, like, bombs have been dropped. Mm-hmm. Maybe BB left. Uh, check the end. This way. Had a moment of where the fuck is the end. still not at my party, so as it turns out, I am tired. <laughs> I'm not tired yet, are you sure? Actually, I can use an app. Do Black Mage sleep? Also, hello, Blood Moon. Oh my god, that uh, the the dragon frog or whatever the heck that yeah, was. Yeah, the dragon fly frog was horrifying. <laughs> This is a very good, like, the staggering of the text is good. It, it, it is so many hesitating as they are trying to tell the fake story that they are coming up with on the fly.
Baku's fine. Baku's a good man. Uh... He's... Uh, overall, his idea gets to the right spot, but the way to get there is not great. And by not great, I mean it's really bad. Baku's anime. Okay. Silver dragon. What? A silver dragon? All right, the thing we came here to do. What? What's that? I thought we were coming here to find out where all the mages were from. Any other thing is entirely secondary. Everybody forgets about Queena. Okay, yeah. Let's get rid of the Stardust Rod. And we uh, we jog back to the Synthesis Shop. The best shop ever. Yes. And we investigate this new item. New cool item. Called the Extension. The Extension. The Extender. Raises thunder elemental power. Man, if only you had a summon that did that. Can only be worn by women. 
-hmm. It also gives a big magic boost. Yeah, I don't think I have any new equipment for people. Nah. Really, the only things you pick up here are a couple accessories and the rune tooth. It's okay. Take care of him. Take care of your good son. Of your boy. Your boy. Oh, we don't have to deal with the forest anymore. Nope. Let me just, uh... For science, you see. Oh! Hello, ladybug. Oh, hey! Is this the first one you've actually... Oh, no. Okay. By the way, we're at the two-hour mark. Noted. I will save. Forgot we have an emerald. Yeah. So, welcome to the Helpful Spirits quest. I want more. You should give another ore. Yeah, 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 we did one before. Oh, I thought that one got uh, glitched. It, it did, and then we encountered it again. Oh, okay. Cool. And yeah, ether. so the, they all give boatloads of AP. Yeah, and Ether and some useless points. Yeah. Uh, I think at this point, this is the third one you could have met, because the first two are near Dali, and the other one's near Trino. Yeah, we encountered Ghost. Yeah. Okay, but now for science. Now for Ladybug again. No! Quiz! Are you serious? <laughs> it's all happening at once. Christ. I don't know all the answers to these, so... Chocobo Forest is located between Limbum and Southgate. I think it is, actually. No, it's located between... Limbum and... Gizm... The, the Grotto. Well, the yeah. south gate's also there, though, is I think. Because I think south gate's what leads to um, uh, where it's actually... South gate is where um, Steiner and um, the princess went, and then they took that train. You know what? I, I think you're right. I think you're right. Also, there it is! Look at that sword! Correct. Nice. 1,000 gil. More money. I'm an expert. I'm just gonna hard lock that one in as well. Then I'm going to stop the science at this point. Okay. You remember when you thought we were going to get to the other Chocobo thing today? Uh, yeah, I was wrong about that. Although, although there is, you should go just a little bit further into the game. Yeah. Before we call it. I could go along this episode. Yeah. Since this will probably be the last one for the night. Uh-huh. 
Although, if you're going to be going long, maybe for no particular reason at all, you should uh, de-equip Quina. Just the accessory. This is a glass buckle. Eh, never mind then. I believe they uh, they have it on for some slight. Well, maybe uh, give her a, uh, give Queena a weaker piece of armor rather than the silk robe, since the silk robe is pretty strong. Ooh, there there is a suggestion I can get behind. Magician cloak. There we go. And uh, not weird. Ritual hat. What the? There we go. Okay, now we're solid. Father, please tell me. Father upstairs, man. How do we sanctuary? Never know what might be used for synthesis. His Holiness, Queena. I think he's over by the fountain uh, area on the left. Oh, that might have actually been him. Are you the holy eye? D oh, right. David Heavenguard. Father David. Oh, so that's it. So that's his profession. Yep. Guard of Heaven. A priest has much to worry about. Wait, what? Are you going to be killed? Let's go. Gotta make it a nice even number. Yeah, what's the worst that could happen? That dance is amazing. Yes, but what if? Now we're talking. <laughs> oh boy. Look, the game gave me a very pivotal feature. I'm going to use it. And abuse it. Yes.
Ah, the internal monologue of Zidane. He's the best. Destroyed. Happy fit. option there's only one correct option yeah there is only one choice here Good. Who's this? New character. that's done so um if you hadn't gone through the ceremony these two just show up and they're like oh yeah we just snuck by while they left and then i'm pretty sure one of the other two says why do we even bother getting married pretty sure katana says that excellent excellent good but i think you'll find we made the right choice oh absolutely Anyway, hi, small child. We taught. We taught and her suspenders. Music's pretty good, though. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So yeah, a small child that has a horn. Weird.
Hi, Queena. <laughs> Newbie's not kidding. Queen is out of the party. I figured as much. Age six. Yes. Literal baby. Yes. A small child. Makes at zero sense. A wee tot. A wee tot. Race-born human. All right. This is actually where the whole everyone in uh, these games is five years older makes so much more sense. She should be like 11. She should be like 10, yes. Who left this sassy small child here? <laughs> That's how you introduce yourself. <laughs> My name's Katana. I really like Vivi in this situation. It's like, what? I didn't even do anything. All right, whatever. Fine. I'm just going to look over here now because I'm done with this. I did nothing wrong. And she's a thief. To be fair, half of our party members are thieves. That's true. Say anything to my lovely wife. Wait for it. <laughs> New member. New member that is going to be really weird on like what abilities she has and doesn't have. Eh, that seems fine. What is body temp? Freeze and heat. Alright, so let's get you loudmouth. It turns out freeze and heat are both really bad status effects to deal with. And super important to turn on. Not now, but very soon. You should put on, um... Uh, what is it? Guardian Mog, though. Every so often, she just takes less damage. Yeah, alright. Body turn. Also, just okay. going to mention it real quick that this is the character that gains the stats that Marcus does. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, that thing that we mentioned briefly way, way back. Welcome to the character that gains that advantage. Oh, hey, I was incorrect. Uh, Guardian Monk just makes it so that status effects that persist after battle do not. So turn that off and put it on something actually useful. Oh man, Zidane can eat a 1k needle to the face now. He has just over a thousand HP. <laughs> mm, to be fair, there is nothing better to put that on. Fair enough. Ability up. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we're good. So, if you got to this point and you weren't cheating like newbie, Aiko actually learns abilities pretty darn fast. Uh, so, even though she comes with no abilities learned, she can catch up fairly quickly. Also, she uses flutes. She uses a tiara. Then A weird haste. Phoenix. Yeah, she can learn Fenrir too, and Haste, and Phoenix?
You know, I think that Madian's ring on her is fine. Oh, yeah. Fenrir is earth damage. Okay. Yep. Thanks, Record Keeper, for ruining that for me. Uh-huh. <laughs> what? Is there a problem with that? <laughs> Confusing is all. Yeah, I know. I mean, even the unique summon Fenrir that she gets is wind. It in, is. Uh, Record Keeper. It was the very first uh, uh, break I got in the game. So, so yeah. that's why I was really confused when I saw it. Wait, what? Um, a thing. So, Yatana and Aiko are similar characters. They both use white magic, they both have summons. Uh, they do get different white magic, though. Uh, so, I'm just gonna, before I put my, put my mouth here. Yes, so, um, Katana gets a bit more of the, uh, rude status effect based spells like confuse and blind whereas Aiko gets more of the buff spells like haste more of the good spells also should be noted that Katana only has <laughs> looks like three white magic spells left to learn so uh, these two are pretty similar but Katana is a summoner uh, with a, that miners and white magic Aiko is a white mage that summons that uh, miners in summoning magic. Both do their jobs well, it's just one does the job a little bit better than the other, depending on what it is. Yeah, and if I were, if I remember right, Aiko gets a couple of summons that are more supporty style. Well, Aiko already has a, more summons than Garnet does. Garnet had her stolen. True. Yeah, that, that, that's a big thing. Also, um, Aiko's um, Fenrir summon, you should A, use it as soon as you get into combat, and B, its effect changes based on what kind of gem she has equipped. So sometimes it'll do things like cast Protect on the whole party or cast Shell on the whole party or stuff like that. You sure hey, you remember not... to go up in here and look over here. Good job. Are you sure that's not Carbuncle? Uh, it is also Fenrir. Okay. Because I both I, do it. I remember that Carbuncle did that. Yeah, well, we don't have Carbuncle yet. Um. Interesting. Would it show me in the pop-up? I don't think so. Well, let's uh, slap an emerald on here and see what that does for us. No, uh, from the chat, Fenrir just has two variants, while Carbuncle has three or four. Does anybody know what those variants are? I can look that up later, but let's not worry about that just yet. Let's continue forward. Yeah, look into that while we uh, work our way through this dungeon, because I like to just know without having to experiment. Yep, I will do so. Okay, there is a thing that keeps popping up there. Is that just for the climb? Yeah, it's for the climb. I thought I could grab, like, the Ooglop. Hello, Siltskin. You get around. Magic tag. This is starting to pay off. Ah, so if Aiko has something equipped that you don't have yet... Uh, it switches Fenrir from using an Earth-type attack to a Wind Element attack. Oh, there, there it is. And Carbuncle, ha Carbuncle is mostly based on what gem you have, because Carbuncle. Yep. Village life is hard. I really like Suzuna. Yeah, I believe Carbuncle does different. Uh, buff. Because, like, you know, everybody knows Carbuncle. Buffs. Carbuncle casts Reflect on your But finally, a fight! Um. Carbuncle casts buffs on your party. Yeah. And um, 
I believe you can change the party-wide buff, and I believe one of the combos is, in fact, haste. Yes. Yep. She gets that as a, um, as the other unique she has. Is a healing with, uh, or medica with, uh, haste on it. Mm-hmm. I was so happy to get that back in the day, and I never use it, so... I really like this summon. I do believe the first time you get the long animation. Always. Hi, Fenrir. Does the animation change for different elements? <laughs> Excellent. Wolf Insanity, Achievement Unlocked. No, oh, and that cutscene cancel my commands, actually. Yeah. Alright, let's just get that, that other one in there, too. Yeah, apparently there's a variant on that dialogue depending on which one of the two summons first. Or if you wait for a boss fight. Sorry, that is my controller unplugging and reconnecting. Hi, yeah. Phoenix. So when you were saying, let's use some Phoenix pinions outside of combat, I was simply going, don't do it. <laughs> they make Phoenix better at what they do. Okay, um... So yeah, uh, no, actually, my uh... quick switch to mouse and keyboard. I <laughs> may actually have to. And quickly go save and call it because you're right next to the save point. Mm. You got an Aku card, by the way. Yep. Oh, that. Yeah. <laughs> Not where I intended to end the stream today, but where eh, we're going. It's to all right. To... It's actually probably the best point to do it. Oh, so yeah. I'm. I'm glad we got to the marriage part at this point. That was what I was waiting for. Alright. Oh, 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 there we go. Alright, yes. Next time. More, More crime. of Malin. More crime. <laughs>